Hello everybody, good morning, my name is Barry, I'm here at Rimmy's Music in Blackpool and this morning I'm just wanting to give you a video on how to assemble this brand new Kawaii digital piano. This model has just been released, it is the CN201. Uh, this particular finish as you can see there is finished in rosewood. So um, what I have done is I have taken it out of the box, they're all very very well packed but you do need to make sure that you have all the accessories you don't want to leave any in there obviously throw them away and then you're stuck so uh, just a brief rundown these are still wrapped I'll unwrap them shortly but there we have that's the back panel two side panels that is the pedal unit on the floor there we've got the manual that is the power uh, brick and these are the screws and that's basically the headphone hanger that goes underneath the piano. And then over here, uh, that's the piano top itself. So uh, I'll unwrap everything now um, so that it's ready to assemble. And then we'll get on with it. So see you shortly. Right then, so uh, I've taken all of the outer packaging off the items that I've just shown you before. So I'll lay the pit parts that I'm going to need now on the floor. Um, we'll need the two side panels and we'll need the uh, pedal unit. Okay, so these are the first three pieces that we need to build the piano. Um, I'll get the section for the left hand side there and then we get the pedal unit. Now, if you look on here, oh, you can see it, oh, you can, you got screw all, a, a slot there and a screw hole, there's a couple of other poles but they're not for screws. Um, and then you've got the pedal unit there underneath, there is a screw just there. It's not screwed all the way in, that is a locator screw. So what we do is, pedal unit on its back like that, uh, left hand side, oh that weren't the left hand side, oh sorry got the wrong side. Left hand side like that and then what we do is we put this part into there like I'm trying to do this not on the floor you should do it on the floor I will do it on the floor and then I move the camera so you can see so we put the left hand side like that and that is now over the locator screw and then we get the right hand panel and do the same at this side so slot that in there, make sure it's in the locator screw, like that. So I'll just get the camera now, and I'll just move you around here so that you can have a quick look for yourself. So can you see, that screw there is in, in that slot, and at the other side that screw is in that slot. So then what we want to do is we've got a pilot hole there, yeah, and we've got a pilot hole there, and the same on the other side. We're just gonna pop a little screw into each one of those. I'll just get the screws now. Okay, so there, two there, two there. And then we got four there, there for the top, there for the back. So these screws here like that. These four screws, two per side, these go in these holes at either side. So I'll put those in now. Okay, so uh, you can't see the top screw, but there is one in there. 
um, the bottom screw just down there as you can see that's the locator screw I've just nipped that up as well, as well same on the other side over there the next thing that you want to do if you've not already done it is just under here just under here there you can see that is the actual cable and plug for the pedal unit so you need to undo that uh, there's just uh, it's just held on by oops sorry it's just held on by this here so you just undo that little wrap there sorry I'm just uh, looking this up okay that then comes loose like that and then that can just come up around the back of the piano when we pop the back on so put your back on the stand there turn that out a bit and what we'll do now is we can stand the piano up so you need to be careful to make sure that you you steady both sides of the piano you don't just lift one side up or it puts strain on the other side you might damage or snap the unit i've never done it before but <laughs> Uh, there's always a possibility so hold the right side hold the left side tilt it towards you and there you go so then the piano is stood up there minus the top and minus the back so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the back section on so i'll move you around here and then we'll grab that now Right, so I've just moved the stand around a little bit just so it's a bit easier for you to see. Um, I'm just getting some of the screws now. So we have two screws here and we have four screws here. And the four screws, in this case, are shorter than the long screws. Uh, the two long screws go into the top of the back panel here. So this is the back panel, and there's a hole at the top there, and there's a hole at the top there, little locator holes in the actual side panels and the base unit. So the two that we've got that are longer, they go in the top, and then the four shorter ones go across the bottom. So I'll put the top ones in first. Faithful, very little screwdriver there, probably the smallest screwdriver you'll see in your life. Uh, so I pop those into the back panel there first and then I just align it up with that screw hole there and then pop it in. Now, you may think to yourself, shall I use a, a power drill or a, cut, a powered screwdriver? I wouldn't do it because they are a bit overpowered for what you want to do it. So just get a good quality, obviously a longer screwdriver than I've got and use that. Um, I've just popped that screw in there, it's not tightened all the way because I'm just locating the back panel. We don't want to tighten everything up quite yet. So I'll pop the screw in the other side, line it up with this other side panel like that, while holding it steady, pop that screw in there. So now I've got the screws in, I'll just put them, tighten them up a little bit more. Okay, so that's the two back screws in, but they're not tightened up because we need to still have some movement in this back panel so that we can locate the screws in the bottom here. So all I'm going to do is get these screws one by one, make sure that they locate in the little pilot holes that are in the bottom of the base unit on the back. Once I've got them all in there, then I'll nip them up and tighten them up. Okay.
Okay, so that's all four of the bottom screws there located into the pilot holes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work back the other way. I'm gonna nip these screws up just to tighten them. Top two screws as well. And uh, then we should be ready to put the, the top panel on. Okay, so that's the back panel on now. The stand is much more sturdy now because it's got that back panel support in it. So the next stage is to pop the top section on. Um, so we'll do that now. Okay, something that I wanted to mention with the top section that uh, is probably important to know. So if you have a look at the side panels there, you can see there's a screw hole there and there's a screw hole there. Now on some pianos, they actually have a locating screw. Uh, Yamaha certainly have a locating screw. But with Kawhi in this case, if you can just see the back here, uh, there's the screw holes. This is the front of the piano. So you've got a screw hole there, you've got the screw hole there but this is a little locating slide look so what happens is when you put the piano top on you put it on you push it back and then this slides over this so it goes underneath there and it's just to stabilize it for when you're putting the screws on so if you're underneath it won't topple over and land on your head so uh, I'll pop the top on now I'm gonna try this on my own but I would recommend that you do this with two people but I have done it quite a few times so fingers crossed, it will go well and it won't go wrong. <laughs> okay, that's on there now. So if I just show you now, just under there, can you see there, uh, I can't line it up unfortunately, sorry about that, but there is the locating lug is there, it's just going over the top, and the same at the other side there, you may be able to see there, yeah, there you go. So what I'm going to do, pop it back on the stand now. So I say pop it, I mean pop the phone back on the stand, silly me. Pop the phone back on the stand, and now we've got these four screws. Yeah. And these four screws just go two over that side, two over that side, and then that's the piano effectively built. We just need to plug the parts in then.
Okay, so that is the top now firmly attached onto the stand. See, lift it, move the piano out a little bit, and then underneath we grab this. Now this is the pedal plug, okay? It's very important that this doesn't go in the wrong way. It is possible to do it, but you will cause damage and then you'll need an engineer and it quite probably will cost you money to get sorted out. And that's not what you want with your new piano. So when you look underneath, oh, just take you off the stand there, sorry about this. So when you look underneath the piano, can you see there? It says pedal, like that. And it shows a picture of which way the pedal goes. And it goes like that. So I'm from the back of the piano, yeah? So make sure it's square and then it goes in like that. So it's the same as the picture. If you put it any other way and you manage to fit it in, you're gonna cause damage to the pins that are actually inside the plug and that's not what you want. So I'll just pop that in there now. Okay, we've also got this. It's a little cable tie, just to keep the cable nice and neat. Okay, we're near the end now. The finish line is in sight, everybody. So I'm just getting the little headphone hanger here. It's just two little screws, if you can see them there, that's the hanger. And just underneath on the left hand side here, uh, we've got two little pilot screws again. It's very easy. So what I, the way that I do it is like this. I may be actually, I'll put one screw in there, put the screwdriver in there, Put them both underneath, locate the screw hole, and then away we go. Again, you don't want to tighten them up yet. Look around this side, it's a bit easier. You don't want to tighten them up yet. Not until they're both in there, which now they are. So. Where we go.
so that's that. And then in the manual bag here, which we haven't used, we get the power cable. to really destroy the bags on the piano just because it's a new instrument so uh, take that out there like that and this is a little power brick because it's a video I was going to say because it's a video what you not be able to get in it like that and then that just goes into there like that. And then the actual plug for the power is right near where you plug the pedal in. So from the back, like, like that, hello, <laughs> like that. That then just goes into your socket. That's like that, take that out, put the music rest up. Switch the main power on. Okay, power on and So there you go, that's how to build a Kawai CN201 digital piano. Uh, other pianos will work in a similar way, um, so do watch the other video and I will be giving you a demonstration of this new instrument, comparing it with its predecessor, the CN29. So until next time, hope you enjoy that video, hope it was useful. Any comments, pop them below, I'll do my best to answer them for you. And if you enjoyed this video, do like it, subscribe, and until next time, my name's Barry. Rim is music in Blackpool. I'm going to go and get a brew now, but until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.